You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Room. Strong enough? No. Wrong lyric. Turn back time. <laughs> <laughs> Are we doing a share reference? We're doing a share, but I got the wrong. Yeah. Right. Anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Strong enough? Didn't have a word. Didn't have a sentence to go with it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no? Okay. No. Anyway, anywho, what have you got today for us today, Mike? Well, this week I've got a TikTok trend that's a right slap in the face. Oh, they're still around TikTok trends. They are, yeah, mm. so that's why I'm covering one. On screen now you can see our contact info. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us, the TV for our website, and on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as names bewitch, bother and bewilder across the bottom of the screen, we get ready for this week's showbiz, Whitley. <laughs> Song reference. Is that it? Bewitched, bothered and bewildered. Am I? What song is that then? Bewitched, bothered and bewildered. I don't know the song. Bewitched the girl band? No. Bewitched, bothered and bewildered is the name of the song. By who? Uh, lots of people have sung it. It's okay. from the 40s. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, showbiz. Did you watch Heartstopper, Mike? I did, yes. Did you enjoy? I did enjoy. I, I li liked to ugly cry. Did you? Yes, lots of ugly crying happened. I gave up after about the fourth episode. I just wanted Have them to... Have you not to... finished it? No. I just wanted them to f*** each other. Watch the whole thing, please. To f*** each other? I can't say because it's a giveaway of the spoiler at the end. Oh. There's nudity involved. Oh, I'll try. Just but I got a bit bored. It was a bit like, a bit twee for me. I preferred bad boys. I've not watched that yet. You need to watch that. That's hilarious. I, know, I wasn't telling you I need to um, watch that. Yeah. Anyway, there's, there's anyway. a sounding reference in that. Good, <laughs> Good news for Heartstopper because it's been renewed for another two series. Yes. Um, but some news about one of the cast of Heartstopper, Yasmin Finney, mm -hmm. we've got on the screen here with her voluminous hair. Uh huh. Yeah. She has been cast in the new Doctor Who. Ooh. Mm. So as, in, she, as in the new new Doctor Who. The new new Doctor Who. Okay. The new Doctor Who. Yeah. Not the yeah. new. The new new from um, <laughs> the new new isn't playing Doctor Who from from Teletubbies. <laughs> no no. The Ninky Nunk, isn't it? No, it's the new new. What's the Ninky Nunk? Don't know. Uh, it's from the Don't know. Garden. Anyway, so she <laughs> <laughs> she has joined the new cast of Doctor Who as um, to coincide with its sixtieth anniversary. Okay. Yeah. So she's going to be playing a character called Rose, oh. but we're we're not sure if it's kind of in like an alternate dimension and as she's Rose Tyler. as Rose Tyler or whether she's a brand new character. Okay. I'm well, going to ask you to stop talking about it now because I don't want any spoilers. Oh, well, I haven't got any more stories because I don't know any more about it. Oh, that's okay it. then. Yeah. So she's basically just, yeah. So she's 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 confirmed to be playing this character, which will, it's being filmed now, mm -hmm. airing 2023. She, it all, basically, all it says is that she's playing a character called Rose and... Watch this space. That's, that's all, all we yeah. know about okay, it. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, here we have a picture of her, and this is a picture of the new Doctor Who, Nakuti, who um, has caused complete outrage and amongst the gammons because, God help us, that we can't have an imaginary alien time lord that isn't white. Yes, cis male. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Anyway. It, when they announced Jodie Whittaker, you know, it's first female Doctor Who, they were wet up in arms, and, was, and now he's black and gay. <gasps> Outrageous. I, know. I will never watch it again. Exactly, because Doctor Who's always been a bastion of masculinity. Oh, yeah. But, you know, people will get over it. I have no they choice. always do. Um, they've also revealed that Catherine Tate and, and um, David Tennant are coming back. As, and so th there's actually, yeah, but so we don't know the, how. The, the phrase of no spoilers. Yeah, but there's no more spoilers, Mike, but here you but go. But I don't know how. Catherine they well, just I say know that they're, they're coming, coming back. back. So we've got oh, the Doctor and Doctor Donna. There's a picture of them filming. You're sending my head melting now. Show the filming. Why, why are you... No. It's not there yet, but it will be. Um, so, yeah, but we don't know any details. Sorry, but Mike. Now I know that they're there. Yeah, but you don't know in what, what capacity. Oh, well, well, whatever. <laughs> Moving on. Goodness me. You geeky people. Um, so, yeah, look I'll, out for it in 2020. Tell you when Cher's going to die, do I? She already is. She's alive. Mm, barely. Anyway, let's move on to something else. 
Ollie Alexander from the pop group Years and Years, actor from It's a Sin, mm -hmm. he, has, he has said, he come up with a statement saying he won't shut up about being gay or stop being sexy, which is basically my mantra for life as well. I go into every meeting, I go, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to stop telling you I'm gay and I'm not going to be sexy. Well, <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, that's more right. <laughs> I'm going to carry on in a huge turn off for everybody. <laughs> exactly. um, a reverse boner. Here I am. No, he's responding to some comments that people have said about he's going to his tour. So his tour's just finished. Mm -hmm. So this is this is him not on his recent tour. This was on the New Year's Eve mm -hmm. show that he did. That apparently lots of people complained about they because did. he was being too homosexual, yeah. homosexually provo provocative yeah. on stage. He wasn't there with a cock hanging out of his mouth. No, he wasn't or getting bummed. No, he wasn't being he was reamed just... live on on stage. What do you mean what? Reamed. 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 What's reamed? I don't know. <laughs> do you mean rimmed? Rimmed or reamed? Reamed is something. I don't, don't know what it is. Rimming is something. Yeah, too. rimming is something. But I don't. But reamed is reamed is also something. <laughs> um, so basically, people have been to see him on tour, uh -huh. and he, you know, he's a gay man, so yes. his tour reflects that. So, he, like you say, he's not, it's not pornographic, but he's living his personality on stage, which is a little bit truth. raunchy, a little bit yeah. controversial. Um, you know, this is a, a, one of his outfits on stage. Um, but to be fair, people like. Lady Gaga wears stuff like that, and nobody says anything. Um, so basically, what he's saying oh, if is... If he up his nips, right, that would be on a pussycat doll. It would be, indeed, yes. Um, <laughs> I wonder where you're going with that, then. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> he's basically saying that, you know, I'm not going to repress who I am just yep. to suit people. You, if you come to my concert and you don't know what you're coming for, that's tough luck. You should really know what, what you're coming for. It's not like he's kept it quiet. So he's saying, they see me saying... You go. <laughs> You'll have to explain that's the only So so we've just had a confirmation about the meaning of ream. Uh -huh. And that is that is to to enlarge the opening of a hole. Oh, okay. Make it bigger. So like when you're driving over a pothole. Yeah. Yeah. Um so <laughs> what he's saying is saying that people see me saying things about being non-binary, um, and to them that's offensive. I don't make explicit political statements in my music, but by being who I am, I'm trying to be my own person. So he said, I'm not going to shut up about being gay or being sexy either. Um, so this kind of follows on from the tour and also the New Year's Eve. I mean, that, there's nothing offensive about that. It's nothing that you see in any other pop acts yeah. stage shows. Well, people... I say, I've, not seen, I've not seen a man humping somebody else in it. In... It's got an angry look in his face there, hasn't he? He's not a gentle lover, apparently. No. 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 Well, he's described his tour as definitely a very sexual show. Okay. And there are elements that will really shock people without being explicit. Put um, the hair batteries on everyone's tongue. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. Um, so, yeah, he's, he's doing what he's doing, and I don't see anything wrong with it. It's double standards. Um, he's also... I'm sorry, I'm going back to Doctor Who. He's also briefly spoken about the rumours that happened last year about him possibly replacing Jodie Whittaker on Doctor Who okay. to play the, the first openly gay, iconic Time Lord. And he's kind of like gone, nah. no, I wasn't really in the running for it. I'd like to be on it in some capacity, but I was never in the running for it. Mm -hmm. So there you go. That wasn't a spoiler. No, it wasn't. Because we know who the that. new Doctor Yeah, exactly. I, and the, the good thing, in It's a Sin, he actually got really excited because as part of that, he got to play in Doctor Who. Oh, he did, yes. So they got that whole little bit of yeah. a... Yeah. Yeah, Greek. <coughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, violence too. So last bit of showbiz news: Linda Carter. You won't know who Linda Carter is. Wonder Woman. Yes, Linda. Just dog me for being a geek. <laughs> uh, oh, you won't know who this person is. <laughs> so she she has shut down people on Twitter um, about people saying, you know, why is Wonder Woman a gay a queer icon? Um, so she posted at the beginning of Pride. Why were you laughing? I just got to keep talking. Just spend it on it. Yes, yeah. um, so at the start of Pride Month, she put up this really sort of like stylized tweet. This is kind of like a quite a famous um, artist that, that recreated Wonder Woman to kind of wish everybody um, a happy Pride Month. Um, and people, as they do on, on social media, had kind of like said, no, she's not. Why have you done that? It's nothing to do with being gay. And she'd, she'd kind of said, um, where have you been for the last... You know, forty years. Um, you know, a fan replied, "When I was a kid, I watched Wonder Woman every time it was on. And then I would spin around and pretend to become Wonder Woman, just like you did. Thanks for supporting our community." That was my tweet. <laughs> Believe it. <laughs> that I sent it. So basically, what she's saying is, is that um, she said Wonder Woman has always been a queer 
yeah. character. There is, there is, there's like, she said, every time someone comes out up to me and says, a Wonder Woman helped them while they were closeted, it reminds me how special the role is. She's repeatedly quote tweeted original comments, calling out people that say bad things um, and, and praising her, her community and her, her fans. This picture of, I mean, she's doing well because she's in her late 60s, early 70s. That's her now. That was her then. What do you think? There's been a amount of work done. There's been the a bit of refreshing. There's been a refreshing. Bit of fresh. Um, but there's always, yeah, there's always. Um... You see, the thing that always impressed me about Wonder Woman. Never saw her wearing a bra. Was it not built in? No, it's just, they were just there, weren't they? They were jubbly. Okay. Okay. And she used um, to spin around and not once did it flop out. Um, that's the end of this week's showbiz news. Thank you very much, Lee. Um, always nice to know that more queer icons are commenting on queer icons. I am a queer icon. You're something. Commenting on yeah. the queer icons. Yeah. You're welcome, but stick around next as it's Mike and the Buzz. watching Chewing the Cud with me, Lee, and him, Mike. Now let's have Mike bring us the buzz. Before we get into the buzz, yeah, I want to talk seriously for a moment, because following from last week's desperate search to find Dom Top, I've noticed that there's other people who are being searched for. Yeah. This week I want to appeal to Soob to please come forward. I've seen many people looking for you that owe you money. And although it's not a large amount, people are looking to give you what they owe. So please, if you know or know of this person, please get in touch and share the hashtag pound for sub bottom. Yeah, so it's important work that we're doing here, Lee. It is important indeed, work. yeah. Uh, but going on to frivolities now. <laughs> okay. Were you breastfed as a child? It's a very personal question. I'm not asking if you do it now. I think I think I received some mummy milk <laughs> before before some I was daddy milk. <laughs> no, <laughs> before I was moved onto the bottle. Right. Okay. So you were breastfed then for a little while. Yeah. For a little while, it's like get it away, trying to eat the rest of me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Shady babe. Yes, yeah, I was nice to you before. That balanced you out. Um, well, as According to a feminist, um, bottle-fed babies are more likely to develop fetish for rubber gimp suits. Really? Yes. Um, so the, the thought is that you know, the people that are bottle-fed or suck dummies are more likely to develop a rubber fetish um, because they get used to the smell and the taste and the texture as small children, so imprint on it. Dummies and... Bottle nipples are not made out of the same. <laughs> are not so, made out of the same stuff as gimp suits. Still, uh, she's saying it's the, the same sort of texture and stuff. She's stupid, isn't she? Um, she thinks that because they draw comfort and gratification from the smell, taste, and feel, that you know they they naturally then lean into it as they get older. Uh. Yeah. Um, she's saying breastfed babies, on the other hand, are less likely to be kinky in adulthood. Um, I'm more likely to bond with their mums. Um, so, not kinky. I don't. I, I don't think. I think that's just a ridiculous. Has she? What? 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 Um, research has she done to um, to find this out? What? What are, what are her findings based on, Mike? What are they? What are they based um, on? In her 2015 book, Mama: Love, Motherhood, and Revolution, um, it's seen as one of the seminal feminist works of the 21st century. Was she? Yes. Uh, did she not do a poll over 100 people? Yes. Um, <laughs> She say, she's saying... Um, in a room full of 100 people, there's only for only one will dress up like a gimp and let you piss in the mouth. The rest are just okay. You finished? Are you okay there now? Yeah, it's fine. Have you got more to go? No, it's no, fine. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but what she says is, uh, for decades, that psychiatrists have tried to explain why some people fetishise rubber and why some people don't. And this is the link that she believes is the, oh, okay. the thing. Um, yeah, yeah, they're just you do or you don't. Because you there's, there's not other, there's more than one just there's more than rubber fetish in the world. There's many yeah. many fetishes. Do you have to explain that away to everything? You know. Well, it's like I'm into pee because my mother used to pee in my mouth when I was a baby. <laughs> <laughs> no.
No. <laughs> no, it could be that like like people that like poopy do play. They, they they were left in their nappy for longer. Okay. It's just ridiculous. Silly woman. <laughs> Silly lady. So yeah. Um you don't believe her then? No. No. Okay. No. Should we move on? Yeah, because I've got I've got to pick up my rubber suit before <laughs> it closes. <laughs> Before your rubber suit closes. Mm. Before, before the dry cleaners close, they're polishing it up for me. Mm. Extra exactly. shiny. Yeah. Anyway. Like a, um, like a purpose. <laughs> like a dolphin snout. <laughs> what were you about to say before you edited yourself? Porpoise. But I couldn't get it out. Purpose. Purpose. <laughs> like smooth as a porpoise. Yeah. Pussy. Pussy. <laughs> porpoise pussy. Like porpoise pussy. It's alliteration, isn't it? <clears throat> So we're moving on to a TikTok trend. Oh, great. Okay. That we're going to do. No, I'm not. Oh, yeah, it's fun. You get to slap me. You get to slap me. Yeah. You're not a fan of that. I don't believe you. No, you do. You get a weapon, an offensive weapon. <laughs> I have to use a tortilla. But I don't, I don't want you to slap me with a tortilla. Well, I'll let you go first. Well, it doesn't make it any better. Why? What do you have to do? Because what you have to do is you have to fill your mouth full of water. Right. right? So we both do that. And then I ha you, you have to slap me. Right? And I have to try not to spit the water at you. Is this what the show's come to, Mike? Yes, it is. <laughs> so, so take a big drink of your drink. And then slap me in the face with a tortilla. And I have to try not to spit this at you. Shouldn't I not go <laughs> first? Shouldn't you put the water in your mouth yeah, first? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, right. You're going to spit, just spit it at me, aren't you? Because that's the thing. You spit it at me before I even get a chance to do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hang on, I've got nothing in my mouth. Mm -hmm. You're going to spit You're going to spit it at me. I know you are. Mm. I just hurt. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Slap you back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ay! <laughs> <laughs> and that's what happens when a person eventually laughs. And... Oh, okay. Yeah. It doesn't actually hurt. <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop eating the dot here. <laughs> Like negative reinforcement. Stop it, totally. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Clarice. <laughs> Can you hear the lambs, Clarice? <laughs> that's replacing the whales in my night. <laughs> um, so that's a new top, TikTok trend. Great. Yeah, yeah. Try not to spit water at each other. Yeah. You kept swallowing your water, though. Yeah. Yeah, which is just cheating. Um, but if you've seen something you want to slap at our faces and into actual social media, not penises, Lee, it's at the Cud TV. And that brings us to our story of the week. You're, like, you're lucky <laughs> you're that I didn't just open it and eat it. <laughs> you're eating the bits that I slapped across your face now. Oh, my own face is fine. <laughs> you're eating random bits of food you found and picked up off the floor. I've worse food. Worse in my mouth. It's fine. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> now, this is another serious story. Okay. And it's about a, a, something that's called um, the Ma Marchio Alki phenomenon. Marchio Alki phenomenon? Phenomenon, yes. Okay, it's actually a really common thing that reflects afflicts a lot of people. Okay. Okay. And that phenomenon is the is um, basically it's the sudden desire and need to defecate when you enter a book bookshop. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> this is genuine science. Mariko Aoki <laughs> phenomenon is the it's when you need to poop after entering a bookstore. I'm waiting for the Asda reference, Mike. It's, <laughs> it's not Asda. Right, so I don't mention Asda ever. You always do. Okay. And this is a Texas-based um, gastroenterologist um, who's basically said that, look, we've worked out that people, there are people that when they go into a bookshop need to poo. Right? They can't help it. It's just a natural thing. It started off in Japan. It didn't, Mike. I've never been into a bookshop and wanted to 
So you don't suffer from it. <laughs> that's what that's saying. Is you don't suffer from this thing. Never been banned from Waterstones. Yet. 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 Why 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 do people want to to to, to poop? So <laughs> <laughs> it's purely a psychological problem. Okay. The people who, who do it aren't aren't sort of suffering from anything. It's just a connection where they go. If I'm in a bookshop, that's where I poo. Right. And it's a psychological thing that just happens, right? Um and it's it's about being nervous about not being able to poo in place. So if you've got things like irritable bowel syndrome, right? What syndrome? Irritable bowel syndrome. Right, okay. Right? Where you, you know, you're scared that you, you know, you're going to poo at some point, but you go into a bookshop and I don't know where the toilets are, you panic, you're more likely to want to poo. Yeah, but that could be the same of any shop that you go into. Yeah, but it's more specific in bookshops. Because think someone's been pulling your leg, haven't they? No, this is an actual scientific, scientific journal. The same woman that came up with that, that theory about rubber <laughs> fetishes. No, look, it's actually for, look, science. Oh, there's a diagram, look. Oh, you bend down and the poop comes out. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. Just in uh. case you weren't sure what to poop means. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so, because people call us, get tense and nervous and basically shart themselves. Yeah. And it's just a bookstore phenomenon, not an Asda phenomenon. They have books, though. <laughs> they do. Is that what you're now going to say? It was... <laughs> Why are you laughing about this serious condition, Lee? I, I find it very, very amusing. I've never heard of it before, Mike. But it does explain why I always want to drop a duke when I'm looking at a Barbara Carlin novel. <laughs> drop a duke for a start. And then Barbara Cartland novel. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, I think that tells us more about you than it does anybody else. Are you going to need a moment? No. Are you sure? Oh, absolutely fine. But I'm going to make sure you have a moment because that's the end of the buzz for now. Oh. Great. Thank. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mike. And you're completely made up stories this week. Stick around. It's coming up. We have. Oh, oh, no, it's all right. It was just a bit of wind. And um, we have our game of the week. Watching Chewing the Cud. This week we are playing Tenor Man, and this is one for our very own Porcupine Felcher, Mike. So off your pop, Porcupine Felcher. Ru -ru -ru. I think you'll find it was a hedgehog. Okay. Eyes Queen. Game of the Week. So the idea behind this game is that Mike has a minute to name 10 things with a certain subject. Um, do you, would you prefer orange or purple? Let's go with the purple pack today. Oh, for what? The purple pack. Purple please. pack. Okie dokie. Right, so I'll move those out of the way. So. Ooh. That's a, that, I don't know. I'm, we'll go with it. So you've got ten, you've got a, a minute, 60 seconds to name. Oh, 10 common SAM SMS languages. I don't get that. Do you get that? Ten what? Oh, like text speaks. So like saying lol and stuff. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Those things. SMS. Sixty seconds, starting now. Lol. Yes. Lamo. No. Not lam last my alpha. No. ASL. No. Um. XOXO. No. LUV. AUV. LUV. No. Um, WYD. No, are you just making words up? No, what are you doing? Okay. Right, no. H and H. No. Um, BTM. No. Um, LTR. No. What? No. <laughs> you just say no now. <laughs> um, GWM. No. WTM. No. So, so far you've got LOL. Yeah. That's it. Oh, time's up. So, right. BRB, be right back. Okay, yeah. BTW. By the way. What's that? By the way. 
By the way. By the way. F O L. F O L. F O L. Born K on lounge. F Y I for your for your information. F Y I yeah. F L M. Fun, love, money. Um. G R eight. Great. Great. Yeah. Okay. L O L. You got. O M G. Oh yeah. yeah. S R Y. Is that seriously? Sorry. Oh, sorry. T C. Talk soon. And thanks. S T H X. Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's have another. That was quite difficult. That was. It was. That was a tricky one. Okay. So you've got sixty seconds to. To, to name ten things that you do in the snow. Go. He. No. I bloody well do pee in the snow. Snowman. Yes. Snowball fights. Yes. Snow angels. Yes. Lines of. No. Um. Ice skate. No. Sled. Yes. Toboggan. No. Um. Go down a tea tray. Go down a tea tray? Go on a tea tray. No. What else is on that list? <laughs> <laughs> that works. Um, so you've had build a snowman, make yeah. snow angels. Uh huh. Um, you've had sledging, you've had snowball fights. Yeah. And that's those are the ones you've got. Okay. Um, are you sure lines of isn't on there? Snorting lines? Yeah, lines of snow. No. Okay. Oh, time is up. Did better on this one. So they have to build snowman, yes. Yeah. Build an igloo. Make snow angels. Shovel snow. Skiing. Sledging. Snowball fights. Snowball rolling. Snowball rolling? Yeah, you just roll it and roll it and roll it till it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And then what do you do with it? You admire the spherical giantness that you've made. Um, snowboarding. Oh, and stay at home. <laughs> I, don't, I think whoever was doing this <laughs> ran, out, ran out of ideas. Things to do in the snow, stay at home. Stay at home. Okay. Oh. 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 60 seconds to uh -huh. give me 10 common fears. Starting now. Spiders. Yes. Snakes. Yes. Rejection. <laughs> no. Premature ejaculation. No. You said common. In the general public, not just yours. Getting caught by the wife. No. Um, falling. Falling? Drowning. Um, no, not, not got that. Oh, I'm going to give falling because that says height, so I'm going to okay. give that. Um, homophobia. Homophobia? Homophobia. No, that's not. That's a fear. Yeah. It's irrational. Not on this list, though. Um, fear of being drunk, being naked. No. Fear of holes. Holes? Yeah. No. Ah, that's quite common. Lots it is. I, do, I have. You I don't have, like that. Um, doors. Fear of doors? Windows. Oh. <laughs> Time is up. So you could have had clowns. Okay. Enclosed spaces. Uh Ghosts. Ghosts. Injections. Oh. Mm. Public speaking. Okay. Or the dark. Yeah. I'm sure ejaculation's coming off by the dark, to be fair. Okay, so you've got six seconds to give me ten things that are orange. Starting now. Oh, now. An orange. Yes. <laughs> um, a sunset. No, that's that the thing you're thinking. That's that's higher level thinking, base thinking. <laughs> Flowers. Mm. Marigolds. Yes. Okay. Um, orange juice. Yeah, I'll give you that. We've got oranges. I've already said oranges though. Traffic cone. No. The middle light on the traffic lights. No. You like these. Penises. <laughs> jaundiced, jaundiced cocks. <laughs> oh, you no. said I like um, <laughs> Shots. <laughs> Donald Trump. 
No, you want <laughs> you wanted to go and visit them. In the natural habitat. hard. Ninjas are everywhere. You do so well then. You could have an amber, stone amber, oh. carrots, fire, goldfish, lava. Goldfish or gold? Goldfish. Orangutans. They're ginger. Well, orange. Pumpkins. Uh. Safety jackets. <laughs> That's what it said. <laughs> Think on the last one of these questions. The writer's gone, uh... Yeah, that. I've got nine. Ask <laughs> um, oh, you'll, you'll be good at this. Oh, okay. okay, so 60 seconds to give me 10 popular musicals starting now. Uh, Cats. Yes. Phantom. Yes. Limis. Yes. Um, Chickago. Eh? Chickago. Chicken call. Chickago. Chicago. Chicago. Yes. Um, guys and Dolls. No. Guys and Dolls is good. No. West Side Story. No. Um, Mary Poppins. Yes. Five you've got. Um. I think more modern. More modern. Um, Great Showman. No. Not that modern. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty Chitty Bang Bang. No. That's a musical. Um. <laughs> Lion King. Yes. Tiger King. Lion King. Um. Oliver. No. Who just said Oliver? No. Jim Jiminy, Jim Jiminy. I've already said Mary Poppins. Oh, okay. Oh. So the list is yeah. Cats. Yeah. Chicago. Yeah. Les Miserables. Yeah. Boring. Boring. Oh, boring. I love Les Mis. Yeah, boring. I love it. Boring. Uh, Lion King. Yeah. Mamma Mia. Uh, Mary Poppins, Me We Poppins, Phantom of the Opera, Sound of Music, We Will Rock You, Wizard of Oz. I got seven then. Well, oh, okay. Cool, this is a long segment, isn't it? It's not, it's the same amount of time. It feels longer, okay. <laughs> it feel, it always better when it feels longer. <laughs> so this is 10 Leonardo DiCaprio films. What's eating Gilbert Grape? I'm gonna have not turned it over yet. Go. What's eating Gilbert Grape? No, it's not on here. <laughs> Titanic. Yes. Um, the one at the the desert, is the shore, the thing one, the beach. Yes. Um, Edward Scissorhands. No, he wasn't in that. Titanic. We've we've had that. Titanic two, the re the, <laughs> the <research>. beach. <laughs> <laughs> um, the one with the the Mr Ripley. No, not the Mr Ripley. The other one that I don't like. Why is it? it, it Fakes checks. Catch me if you can. No. What the f am I? <laughs> There's a few. All right. Tell me some of them. Um. Um. Uh, um. Angry man. Angry man on on. Um... Wolf of Wall Street. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. You could have had. So you got the Wolf of Wall Street, Titanic, and the Beach. Uh huh. You could have had Gangs okay. of New York. Inception, that one where everything was weirdy and sad. Oh, I like that one as well. Revolutionary Road, don't remember oh, that. Yeah. Romeo and Ju Romeo and Juliet. Oh yeah. Uh, Shutter Island. Oh shit. That was weird. The Aviator. Didn't see it. The Departed. Is that one where he gets shagged by a, by a bear? No idea. Right by a bear. Um, so that yeah. There you go. Yeah. After this break, it's that science that is. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's that part of the show where we go over to Mike for that science that is. That science that is. So we're doing something exciting this week, Lee. Mm. But we're not. I am. Because the first thing that you're going to need is a pestle and mortar. So I asked you to bring a pestle and mortar, Lee. I know you did, Mike, and I've apologised for forgetting it, but, you know, sometimes you've got to let go. Yeah, but it's going to make this difficult for you, not me. Um, so we're making oils today. Oils? Oils. Yes. Because, um, as, as you might be aware, there's a bit of an oil shortage. Happening. Is there? Yes. Because of something that might or might not be happening in the world. Oh. So, yes. So... What we're going to start with is we're going to start with some of these lovely little things, which are olives. Oh, little olives. Are you, are you a fan of olives? I'm not, no. I, I love an olive, me. 
Especially when it's wrapped in the martini. Oh. Mm. Double S7. But what we're going to what we're going to be doing is basically squishing them. Okay? Because they're quite oily inside the flesh. Is that where olive oil comes from? Exactly what we're making today. My oil god. Oil of olives or olive oil, yeah. And this is going to be extra virgin. Extra virgin? Because it's going to come from the first pressings. So what we need to do is we need to squish the olive flesh. Oh, the flesh. That's why you need a pestle and mortar. So you're going to have oh. to use your hands instead. Okay. Okay. So what we do is just start squishing and, and squishing and pulverizing as best you can. Just mushing them. Just mush them all, all up, yes. I'm going to use my little device here. Squish them. Are you squishing away there, yeah? Yeah. Okay. While you squish, I'm going to squish too. Squish them. I've brought a tool. So yeah, all we're doing here is as you squish them, that the flesh releases its oils. Yeah, that's lovely. You just got mush. Yeah, that's what we need. Fine, that mushing. I'm getting. Oh, it's going to all pixelate. It always got magical. <laughs> so yeah, so I've got. I've got some, some goopy stuff here. Okay, so um, you keep squishing then. Okay. So now mine's all, all, all masticated. Okay. Are you, are you masticating yours? The, 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 oh, these f***ing stink. They smell of olives. Well, I think they're as mushed as I'm going to get them. Let me see. No, no, sure. No, you're going to have to keep going that little... So, you kind of want it to look like this. Well, I'm going to get that, I'm hands. I'm not doing scissor hands, am I? I'm not going to put me... Just use your pestle and mortar. Well, Would you like to borrow my wizzy stick? Though. Would yeah. you like to borrow my wizzy stick, Lee? Um, if, you know, I'm not asked either way. <laughs> hey, we'll keep going then. <laughs> you know, I'll see what you keep smashing up then. Just don't wipe your hands on that. Oh, I have done. Well, let's see where you're up to. <laughs> shall, I just, shall we just go with this? Shall we just go with that? Okay then. Okay. So now what you need to do is you need to strain it into your mason jar. Okay. It's not a poop. So all we're going to do is pop your muslin cloth thing into your mason jar like that. Okay. And then pop your mush into there. You're going to pop your mush into there. And then once somebody, it's in... Somebody downstairs is ready for a nap. <laughs> Why'd you say that, Lee? Very, very silly, very silliness. They're always silly. I've got to tip all that stuff into the... Oh. Into your muslin. And then we're just going to strain it gently. How do we... St <laughs> how, how do we how do we strain it? What do we mean how do we strain it? Okay, stop laughing because the gallery are making poo noises. Because I'm saying the word strain. I've just got a lot of like olive water. Okay. Is that what, what I want? Yes. That? Like tatty water? Well, <laughs> just keep going because some of that will be oil, which is what we want. Why are you milking yours? <laughs> it's not a cow! That's what you told me to do. I said gently strain it, so you just give it a, a gentle squeeze like this. You don't need to milk it. <laughs> it's like there you go, wanking off a fucking pile of olive juice. <laughs> it's a lovely little tinkling sound. So you can actually do this method with lots of different things. So you can do it with nuts and get nut juice. Nut juice? Nut juice. You can do it with um, sunflower seeds. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> Why are you laughing? 
We've got Nutchies connoisseurs downstairs. <laughs> we have, yes. Um, you can do this with seeds as well. Seeds? Yes, so you can get your juicy seeds out. Okay. Chia? You can do chia. You can do sunflower. I want you to go... <laughs> you wanted to have missed the joke on purpose. <laughs> <sighs> grapes? So you could, well, you could do it, but there's not really much oil in a grape. Oh, it's got, it's got that's, something. That's... So the thing that you squeeze in, it's that's... got to have oil. Oil in. An oily yes. food. So th you can do, you can do fish as well. I was about to say sardines. Yeah. Um, so any, any oily fish, really. Any oily fish. Any oily fish. Ooh. Yeah. You just have to break the cells up and, and squeeze the oil out. But of course, that gives you omega-3, is the oil in fish. I don't think I'd want fish oil. Why not? Because it stinks. No. It's all right if you're cooking fish in it, I suppose. So then, if you have a look in your jar, once you've, once you've squeezed the majority of it out, mm -hmm. yeah, if you have a look in your jar, you'll start to see that the top is separating. Oh, it is, yeah. See them? I've got... Right, so if you have a look there, I've started to get a little layer that's a different colour, and that's the oil. You've separation. got an oily separation. It's an oily separation. Oh. So I do. I just leave that for a few do hours. I have an oily separation? Have you got an oily separation? I do, a slight oily separation. Yeah. But that's just my skin tone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for making science fun. Yeah. Well, you're not. You're just making fun of science. Sorry. Yeah. Now what? Right, and so all you do, once you've left that separate, is you can just siphon off the top and there's your, your lovely fresh extra virgin olive oil. Oh. Ooh. Do you just have to leave it? Just leave it. It separates itself out. It's clever. Oh. Yeah. And you scoop it out with a spoon. It's about a spoon or you can siphon it with a tube. Oh. If you so wish. But yeah, that Marvellous. And what, what might we use this olive oil for? You can use it for cooking. You can use it as, a, as on your skin. So if you feel your, your hands now, they'll be very oily hands. Yeah. Very soft. Yeah. You can use Thank it on you. earwax. Um, and if you if you're very clever, you can turn it into biodiesel. Oh, for the cars. For the diesel cars. Yes. Do not put it in an electric car. No. Electrocute yourself. It wouldn't work. Well, that's science, that is. That science, that is. Well, that was in fact, I've got very soft, slippy hands, vinegary fingers. Vinegary? Mmm, they smell a bit vinegary. <laughs> like a crab, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, yeah. Well, that's almost the end of this show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv, and of course, on YouTube and podcast services, just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Oily. Oily. Piss. And vinegar. Piss and vinegar. Piss and vinegar. Oh, That's a sweet temperature. Yeah, man's just got a definite oil separation, yours hasn't. Mm. Mine's cloudy. Yeah. Cloudy. Yeah.